Hi and welcome back to the Ron the Robson. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how much did it cost us last year to go to France with a caravan for about three weeks. And partly of those two reasons, I want to show you guys how much it cost, because I haven't ever did that. But secondly, also because I want to compare the current year where we're going without the caravan. How much does that cost and is it a better deal to take a caravan or not to take a caravan with you? So I'm tired of time, I'm going to look at the laptop that's here just to give you an idea of how everything cost. So last year when we took the caravan on the way down, we took the Eurotunnel. And the Eurotunnel cost us £102. I think we had some kind of uh, vouchers for that, but it cost £102 of cash that we paid for that. Now on the way back we got the ferry, and the ferry cost us £125. On top of that, what we did was, um, to make the holiday out a bit longer for me and the girls, uh, Lucy actually got a flight out to Paris and we picked her up. So we were there about four to five days before Lucy was even on the scene, I suppose. Um, and the flight for Lucy cost us £156 in total. We then stopped at several different campsites. We stopped at one near Paris. Uh, the one we were in Paris, we were there for three nights, yeah. So three nights we were there and it cost £138, which is pretty reasonable. We then moved on to La Cliez and we were there for a grand total of seven nights and that cost us in total um, £341. Pretty good site, five star site, lots of facilities. Not as high as some of the five stars have been in the past, but still very, very good. So seven nights, £341, obviously with the caravan. We then stayed at another site for five nights uh, near Paris, like the Croix de Vue, so you can see... Uh, R O I X at the view, uh, and that we were there for five nights, like I said, uh, and that cost us two hundred and eleven pounds to stay there, which I think was pretty reasonable. Site had good facilities, not the best because we had a kind of some, uh, it's not a bit rude, but some traveller folk came next to us and they weren't very gracious. And if you can hear motorbikes for some reason, every now I try to record there's motorbikes revving up or, or whatever, so I apologise for that. Uh, but you'll have to hold fire, unfortunately. Uh, we then went to uh, Camp and Do Gans, but I think it's called. Uh, we're there for two nights, and I think that costs us about £150. No, that's a lie, that's in euros. It was about £100 for that. I don't want to get down to France and kind of travel around France, obviously, we had fuel. Fuel cost us £450, which seems a lot, but bearing in mind that it probably takes us a tank to get down to Dover and then a tank into France. It was probably about £450 we spent on diesel last year. Diesel's actually cheaper in France than it is uh, in the UK. So at that time last year, I think it would be about 160-ish for diesel in the UK. And I think with a the discount, they were giving us about 140, uh, 140, maybe 130 odd pence per litre. So a significantly cheaper. And just to add to that, dogs are barking away in the background here, but this is the thing. Making a video won't have the car anymore. I've got nowhere nice and quiet to do it, so we try to do it. Um, then after we had to pay for um, tolls, or tolls on kind of roads and things, that was about 150 pounds. Grand total last year, we spent nearly 1,700 pounds. And they're all the things that I can think of. I can't remember any extra. I mean, there would be a couple of things like tourist tax, that's all. It's probably nearly 1,700 pounds. But bearing in mind that we were away in France for nearly three weeks. Where could you get three weeks away for that money? If we were at three weeks to Spain, uh, during the six weeks holidays, we'd be talking seven to eight thousand pounds. We didn't look before we decided to take the car this year, and it was about seven to eight thousand pounds to go. So quite a saving there. It's about one thousand seven hundred pounds, and it'll be interesting to see how does that compare this year. Now, I already know that it's cost us more money, and it's actually going to cost us more for this year, which is two and a half weeks rather than last year being three weeks. However, obviously. Um, we're not paying for a caravan, so we're not paying 200 and something pound a month. So what's that, 2.4k a year? We're not paying service. And so we're paying about, we're saving about 3,000 pound on the actual keeping of the caravan. But obviously, uh, I should have to put out that we don't get to use the caravan. So we asked to look at the options. Uh, a couple of big sort of van camper vanny things have came up recently. We've went like that. Although we're going to buy it more like a car version, keep it very, very carly, I think. I don't think we're going to go mad. Uh, we'll put on every mod con uh, on a, a proper uh, like camper van because we probably want to keep it more like a car. I said a couple of things uh, recently a Ford Tonio Grand Connect, but the problem is it's good, it's grand, but it's only 4.8 meters. So I'm not how, sure how well that would work for us as a family at this moment in time. So, yeah, 1.7k I would say for three weeks in France last year. It is going to be more this year, and we're away actually. Um, not to uh, in the future, and like I said, we're doing a mixture this year of hotel rooms and also we're doing some campsites. So we'll social with us, we'll give you all the tours, we'll give you all of that. Any drama that occurs, obviously, we'll let you know. We don't like the sensationalize what goes on generally on the channel, that's not our kind of thing, like a lot of uh, YouTubers are, but we'll still take you along with us 
on that journey. So what do you think? 1.7k for three weeks from France last year. That's pretty reasonable, like I said. We'd be paying about four to five grand at least holiday-wise for a couple of weeks if we're lucky. And that's still South Cape. So we start to buy food and things on top of that. Um, and this year it's cost us quite a bit more than that. But after we've been to France, we will do a little review of how that went and what the costings for that were. If you want to see our France trip, France 2022, and what went last year, I'll put a link up here and you can go and watch the whole series of what we did, where we were, that might give you some inspiration of where to go next.